like cows. No. I mean, I kind of have to like them. My name is literally Beef and Cheese. And you know what? The more beef I eat, the more powerful I get. And it's out of my love for cows that I decided to share it. So today, I'm going to be reviewing several farms in the game Minecraft. Now, one thing worth noting while I'm testing these is that you have to breed cows manually, and then once they give out a baby, you have to kill a grown-up in order to get the stuff. Because of this, I'm going to be reviewing each cow farm in cycles of three to five of breeding and then killing the adults. Now you can automate this procedure by making an auto killing chamber, but since you're already breeding it, I suggest just manually killing them as well with a looting wow. three and fire aspect sword, which is what I'm gonna use to test this. First up on our list is the modest cow farm. Pretty simple, you walk in, you breed as many as you can, and then once you're done breeding a whole bunch, try to kill maybe about half of them. At the end of about five cycles, we managed to get n about 10 stacks of steak and about eight stacks of leather and a bit of extra raw beef from squishing. For this farm, I give it about five out of five steak for the build simplicity, five steak for the production rate, two steak for the cycle time, so how long it takes to complete one breeding cycle, and taste test, well, let's see. That's AAA steak. You can really taste the free range in it. Five out of five. I would normally give this one A tier because the cycle time just takes a long time to breed all the cows and then kill them. But for that awesome taste, I'm gonna have to put this in S tier. No, no doubt about it. Sometimes simple is probably the best way. Next up is actually the current cow farm I use on the beef SMP. So what you do, you quickly come up and you try to kill a few cows. Then you come back up here, you press the button, and you breed some new ones. At the end of five cycles, I got about... Ew. Ew. Okay, yeah, that's not a whole lot for five breeding cycles. So this one disappointed me a little bit. I think I'm probably gonna want a new farm for the beef SMP, because now that I think about it, I have been struggling to get beef. So anyway, I'm gonna give this three beef for build simplicity, one beef for productivity, four beef for the cycle time and taste test. That's three beef. Honestly, I was hoping for much more from this farm, but it just did not deliver. This is gonna have to sit in D tier. Next up is an improved version of the last one, which allows for three blocks for cows to breed in. So they breed, they fall past these very important signs. I'm gonna zoom in so you can replicate these pretty well. That should be good enough for you guys. And then they come down here, and all you gotta do is just once again kill them, and then once they're all dead, climb up your ladder, press the button, and breed some more. At the end of five cycles, we got Still not a whole lot. I mean, it's double of this one, so it'll definitely supply you enough food. So for this farm, I'm gonna give it three beef for build simplicity, three beef for beef productivity. Let's give it four beef for cycle time and taste. Three beef. So it's really just a superior version to the past one. So I think this one is definitely gonna be a comfortable B tier. It produces a lot more, so I'm pretty happy about this. Next, you've probably seen all too often, and I'm assuming you already recognize this one. All you gotta do is press the button and breed them, and they're gonna start to come up, and then entity cramming is gonna squish them until they die. So it's very, very quick to use. And at the end of five cycles, we got still not a whole lot. About as much as the second one, actually. Actually, this one's a little bit better. Yeah, this is pretty much just an entry for new cow farmers, you know, to get into the automated side of things. I'll give this five beef for build simplicity, one beef for beef productivity, and five beef for cycle time. It's pretty quick to use, actually. Taste? Pretty disgusting, ew, actually. Most of the meat kind of comes out raw and, you know, it's all been squished together. It's like a weird chunky stew or whatever. It's disgusting. I'm gonna actually give this negative, okay? Negative three beef. That'll be rotten flesh or whatever. So yeah, this did not impress me. Just because of the taste, this is all the way down in F tier. Disgusting. Don't make this farm at all. Gross. And now we're taking a look at the simple cow farms 
older brother. This guy is a whole lot more productive. It has a separate killing chamber, so I suggest killing them all off first. And then once you're done with your killing, come back up here and just breed about as many as you think is good. Come on out. And these guys are going to follow and eventually wander through these fence gates into the killing area. At the end of five cycles, we got about this much. Not as much as this one, but they practically produce the same. It just really depends how many cows you fit in here. So yeah, this one was also pretty good. I'm going to give it four beef for build simplicity. I'm also going to throw in five beef for the beef productivity. Like, it, it's practically the same as the first one. I just didn't put as many cows in as the first one. I'm also going to give this one two beef for cycle time and taste. I'd give it four beef. It's it's like double A steak. Like, you know, the, the cows don't really have time with their mum in this one, so it kind of separates them and you can really taste the, the neglect in the steak. So this one's pretty good. I think it's pretty much the first one, but the taste just kind of brings it down to an A tier. That's pretty comfortable. The taste brings it to an A tier. Next is a bit of a mix between this one and that one over there. So we're first going to come down here and just kill a whole lot. Then we climb all the way up these ladders and we can come right here and start breeding some new ones. Now what happens is that when little cows are bred, they actually fall through these trap doors and get pushed down into here. Now be careful, sometimes these trap doors you could accidentally shut, so you might want a special back door right here so you can walk in and out and fix them. And at the end of five cycles we got about... Wow, that's a good amount actually. So this one was pretty good. It did not disappoint, I have to say. This is about two beef for build simplicity. I'd give this four beef for beef productivity, three beef for cycle time, and the taste test. That's a solid three beef. You know, this one, this one's pretty good. I think it's on par with the last one actually. That's a pretty, it's a pretty solid A tier as well. Uh, yeah, that's what I'll give it. Also completely unrelated, but I just made myself some popcorn and I got no unpopped kernels at the end of it. Like, wow, this, this steak is actually making me more powerful. Tasty snacks aside, this last cow farm is a bit of a different one. Instead of using cycles of breeding the cows then killing the cows to run it, it's actually AFKable. So what it does, it has a giant carousel or whatever of cows, just a giant ferris wheel of cows, and you hold down your wheat onto the cows and they breed, and then the babies go over the trap doors, fall into a little killing chamber area and eventually they die. Now if you want to AFK while holding the right mouse button, you have to hold it, then you hit F3 plus T, and then just leave your computer and it's going to be running AFK. Now it is important to note that I'm doing this on creative mode so I don't run out of wheat. When you actually do this, you're going to have to set up a system to refuel your wheat every few seconds or so. And at the end of an hour of AFK, we got 64 and half a stack of steak and 64 and 10 leather, which is pretty good for an hour of AFK. I'm gonna give this farm two beef for the build simplicity. It is a little annoying to build. And for the production rate and the cycle time, I'm gonna give five out of five beef. And that's because it's an AFK farm. And honestly, AFK farms are so powerful. I think four hours on this baby and you're gonna be set for you and all your friends for a good time. And how does the beef taste? That's a solid three out of five steak, I'd have to say. You know, the cows are a little bit tossed around a bit like salad, so it kind of helps wash them off a bit too. So this is a pretty great farm actually, and you know what, just for the sheer ability of doing this AFKable, I think I'm gonna give this S tier. It is definitely an S tier farm. And these are some of my favorite cow farms in Minecraft ranked. Hopefully you guys can take something away from this, maybe build some more cow farms of your own. Maybe tell me in the comments what you guys thought of my list. Overall, you guys have a good day.